यस हरिओम स्वामी जी थैंक यू सो मच इट वॉज जस्ट सो ब्यूटिफुल एज वी आर प्रोग्रेसिंग एवरी डे इट्स गेटिंग इट्स जस्ट नो वर्ड्स टू थैंक यू स्वामी जी आई क्वेश्चन आई गॉट सम आई आई यूजली गेट हॉट यू नो ड्यूरिंग मेडिटेशन इट कम्स फ्रॉम बिहाइंड माई नेक दर्ज अ गस्ट गश ऑफ हॉट आई डोंट नो इट्स जस्ट the heat that comes out uh, near the throat area and the back why does that happen swami ji honestly i don't know why that happens um okay. is it happening every day uh especially when i meditate no but Every day when you are meditating, that is happening. Most of the time, Swami Ji. It's been common with me. Whenever I've meditated, it's it comes up. So what happens? Only the body feels hot. Ji, I I feel from behind my neck, like towards the front and back of the neck, especially from that area, and suddenly, uh, and then it goes to the whole face, like it it rushes up. so the heat just uh goes up if you do deep breathing actually it should relax the body and calm it down okay if there is some disturbance that uh, what i can think of is only that much there may be other reasons from what i think of there can be some if there is some disturbance if there is some agitation or if something the the mind is disturbed with a negativity or it's carrying something which is painful then the meditation puts the attention of ours on the mind otherwise okay. our attention is outside like so yeah. the mind is holding something that way subconsciously and then one may feel that but otherwise because body is doing deep breathing and you are relaxing relaxing ideally it should not happen but uh, i am not aware if there is any other reason ji swami ji it's happening more towards the beginning of the meditation and then i am very relaxed as we progress but it does come up couple of times and then i'm okay So then, one has to check some other physical factors also. I don't know if you are drinking water enough. You are hydrated, dehydrated. Uh, everyone has slept enough, or one is carrying us any stress of the work or anything in the mind, in which state the body is in a state of contraction. Then all those are possibilities. Yes, one... Mija. I'll, I'll next time I'll hydrate and I'll make sure like this. start ruling one by one and uh, i'll check swami ji thank you so much swami ji appreciate yes lena ji you have to unmute and ask uh, hari om swami ji uh, i want this session to be continued every day not only this adhik masa so can we do that swami ji it's very nice i really uh, feel so much uh, peaceful and good and see i i i don't think i will be able to continue because your guidance and your presence makes a difference and i want you to continue uh, on the daily basis or maybe as per your convenience time whatever it is so we will see what can be done what is bhagwan's will we will see at the end of adhik mass as of now let's continue till adhik mass sadhana is scheduled yeah aage shiv ji se chha yes yes swami ji i do agree with you thank you so much swami ji thank you for your guidance thank you hari om
हरिओम एवरी वन Okay, one more. Okay. Hi, Om Samaji. I just have a question. I really don't know whether I'm in meditation or simply just mind is just wandering or not wandering. There are times I feel I'm sleeping. You know, initially the first so many days I felt I was sleeping through it. I tried everything, <laughs> every position possible. i just don't know how does one know that one has slipped into meditation or into that you know that whatever that is what meditation is supposed to be how does one know one is in that so meditation is a state of awareness when we wander uh, my voice and hear in some one to you so when our mind wanders we lose connection with the present so one way to know that mind has wandered is that the instructions i am not following i am following some mind has again gone back and then again i have come back to the instructions it has wandered there's a gap it may be a small gap it may be a big gap but one will know through that that mind has wandered otherwise one will pay attention to what is being told and one will do the processes sleep again one feels drowsy the body will not be erect so the erect posture can help whatever posture one can be as much erect as one can be when one starts meditation the body will slouch if one is sleepy drowsy the body will slouch so one will know okay i am feeling sleepy and drowsy and i am not able to contemplate one can try with smaller durations one can try with more uh, external engagement like do loud chanting don't close the eyes do tratak first day we learned after one or first or second day we learned the tratak focus on the form of bhagwan observe each and every aspect of bhagwan's form and do the chanting with the eyes open so if 10 minutes you are doing that that also a long time actually just to see and keep chanting sometimes the mind does not engage so easily but one can do suppose 10 minutes you are doing that in that 8 minutes you see externally and chant and only 2 minutes visualize in the mind and chant slowly one has to build capacity start small grow big here we are doing half an hour to 40 minutes every day which is like not easy i understand that uh in the beginning even in 5 10 minutes the mind will start feeling drowsy sleepy the natural it happens it takes time and one builds slowly so one will know only through these things that when one is drowsy the body will slouch one will not be able to keep up with the mental uh process of withdrawal because it is not used to it mind is not trained so what is that state of meditation that it's supposed to be is complete awareness inside outside and one is aware one is detached and aware both one observes body breath mind one is fully aware and one's attention as it is withdrawn then one is aware of the subtler more and one becomes detached from the grosser so body awareness will reduce breath awareness will go thought awareness is there and slowly that also disappears one is in that state so it happens in that way arivom